a little update on this room. I uh, have that much left to go, and then I'm going to start on this tomorrow. First, I have to go to the store in the morning, though, and get gas. Uh, well, maybe I'll head out tomorrow afternoon sometime. I'm not too sure, but anyway, that's how it's looking. I'll just do a quick little pan around the room here. Yeah, it's hard to get everything in the, in one shot, so I'll just go back here. Anyway, it's turned out not too, too bad. I think it's coming right along. Um, I did some other things outside. Well, Heather and I did some things outside, so uh, we didn't work out of this much today, but uh, I do have some stuff in here. I'm gonna go at it and, and uh, finish it up, but anyway. Oh, I'll move this out of the way so you can see actually how that lined up in the corner. Oh, right there. That's how that corner looks. It's not uh, as great as this corner. This corner fit really tight. A trim will hide that. And this corner here fit pretty tight as well. Um, and uh, this corner I have to finish, like I say. I have to finish this. The top here is all done. I think I showed you that. I, I just have to put my, my uh, paneling on there. Uh, but this side I have to put a piece of 2x4 in the corner. Uh, so I can nail on my OSB that runs along here. I may uh, do that tomorrow. Maybe I'll start up the mill. Uh, run a log through it. Cut me a 2x4 or 2. Maybe I have some up in the old house pile. I'm not sure now what I have left. And then I'll put a piece of OSB on here and then uh, then I'm going to uh, probably get some plywood. It's going to take three sheets of plywood um, for this floor, but I will call and price that tomorrow. I'm not exactly how much that's going to cost and I will let you know what that's going to cost me in my video tomorrow if I remember it. Anyway, I, I sure like the way that's looking though. In a way, I wish I could do the whole house like this, but I think it would be just too much wood, and uh, I don't blame Heather. She wants to she wants to paint some, so I will probably put some just some plywood, uh, just construction grade plywood. Same stuff we're going to use on the floor in here. I may put some construction grade plywood on the walls um, and let her paint it. I can't use drywall because if I put drywall on here, as soon as I go to jack it up and move it onto the basement, I think it'll crack really bad. But, uh, okay, I just wanted to fill you folks in on how this little room is coming along. Uh, not much left to go in here. And then uh, do the trim. I'm not sure. We might do a second coat of paint on the ceiling. Um, I don't know if that shows up better. Ah, <laughs> guess if I turn the light, it works a lot better, eh? <laughs> oh, well. Anyway, yeah, I love the look of that pine. The, the, you know, those were dead logs I brought out of the bush, dead trees, and I just milled them up. And, and I love the color of the grain. I hope it shows up in the camera, but there's so much blues and grays in that, that old pine. It's unreal. And I find the longer it sits on the wall, uh, sometimes the more the dark grains come out. Now, that, that bluish-gray grain does disappear after a while a little bit. And if I put a clear coat over it, it turns it to kind of a red looking uh, color. I experienced that when I built that table out of that stuff. Anyway, well I'm rambling on here so you folks take care. We'll talk to you tomorrow.